So that's a full barrel. Do you see how it rolled down to us here? Um, really just kind of, see so it kind of corrects itself as it's rolling. Um, but that's kind of the key to the whole thing. Um, but a rick itself is the actual slot that the barrel goes on. Um, and then ricks, this is called a rick house, right? It's a house full of ricks. Um, the really unique things about this building, as you can see, there's no insulation, right? So the, the ricks itself inside are the actual structure of the building itself. Um, so one really important thing about a rick house is once you have it, get it filled because the weight of the barrels keeps it together. The whole thing just sits on a giant slab of concrete. And so what would happen if you put two and a half million pounds of one under the concrete? Bloop, right? So we have two plumb bobs on each side and we can show you those. Um, and the plumb bobs will actually tell us if the concrete's starting to lean. And so whenever we're loading this up, once we get it, I've asked a certain threshold of barrels, we'll always have to return to that plumb bob to make sure that we're square. You see the sun's right there. It's on the southern facing side of the building. And so what happens in here is we don't have any, there's no CFM rate. We're not moving any ventilation around. Uh, all the respiration is occurring naturally. And so what we're allowing to happen is we create microclimates, right? So when we go through, you actually see the first floor is pretty cool. Uh, when you're on the south side, it's actually decently warm. And as you go up higher and higher, it's gonna raise in temperature as you go higher up. But if you go south versus north, the north side's actually cooler than the south side because of that sun exposure. So what's gonna happen in here is all of these different ricks are gonna have different, they're gonna accentuate spirits in a different way. And so what we're really looking to do is allow nature in terms of barometric pressure, uh, ventilation or lack of ventilation, right? And sun exposure and temperature and humidity to give us natural spirits, spirits that are naturally tasting and actually have terroir. If you're familiar with the term terroir from wine, terroir is a very important aspect of fine whiskey. Um, you know, the world has stated that Scotland makes great whiskey. We're on a very similar latitude to Scotland, right? And so what we're really trying to do is just let these barrels sit, rest, not disturb them too much, sample them when appropriate. And once they've reached an age where they're spectacular, show them to the world. Whereas a lot of business models would focus on, okay, two years, dump it, three years, dump it. That's not what we're doing here. We really want these things to sing their own magnum opus.